I have come here to chew bubblegum and kick ass. And I'm all out of bubblegum. Go ahead. Make my day. Cinema Royale. Hello. Oi. I'm in my geek out moment right now. I'm just geek out. For what? Oh, hey, James. It's, it's Disney and shush. Hi, James. Hello. Look what I found. Oh, my God. <laughs> the clamshell. Yep, I found I my might tape. have. I'm not 100% nice. sure if I have an Oliver and Cumdy tape. I might have. I know that looks familiar, but I don't know if I have it, honestly. Um, to be the, the, the most hilarious part was because my mom knew I loved Disney growing up. She literally had bought me almost every Disney movie animated wise. Almost. Which one she didn't buy you? I think Make Mine Music. Um, okay, yeah. Three Caballeros. Yeah, the package um, films, basically. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. Except, ironically, I have both Fun and Fancy Free and Melody Time. Melody Time? Okay, I understand Fun and Fancy Free. That's been, like... I, I've frequently seen, like, a, a lot of people owning Fun and Fancy Free because Mickey Mouse, but uh, Melody Time, that's pretty surprising. Yeah, you Really? Just... I would own it just for Bongo. <laughs> well, <laughs> oh my god, I was re-watching that. Bongo, um, and I was laughing so hard. It's like that. Yeah, that's it. That's how you love someone. You just slap them in the face. Oh. Honestly, I remember when I was. I remember when I was a kid. Like, I I spotted like someone put up a VHS of of uh, Fun and Fancy Free, and I saw the Bongo short, and I was watching it like, this is weird. Personally, <laughs> that's all I remember. It's like this is weird. What the what the hell is this? Dude, you'll be amazed what Disney movies I own. It's so funny, because, um, I owned a good chunk of them. I own Great Mouse Detective. I own, I literally own all the four 80s films I own. Yeah, pretty much almost all of them. Except the ones I got rid of. <laughs> it's okay, you can admit it. You can admit to us, you owned Home on the Range. Oh, fuck no, not that movie. <laughs> that movie, hell no. <laughs> I didn't even own any of the Disney movies that came out after Fantasia 2000. I just, except for Lilo and Stitch, I just went screw this crap. <laughs> and Brother Bear. Look. And Brother Bear. That's a good Bro one. I, you know what I really wanted to see from Brother Bear is actually the Root and Two commentary. I heard it was, so, I heard it's so hilarious apparently. I've never heard that one. Root and Two commentary. Yeah, the like the two moose that's supposed to be like Bob and Doug McKenzie. There's like an entire commentary, oh, the, like of the movie. With oh, them. the red soup commentary. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, like. Oh, uh, that would be hilarious. Actually. Yeah, I think like my friend quoted to me one that's so funny. It's like, he's like, "Hey, look, it's snowing. I think it's supposed to represent the guy's sadness. You know what snow represents for me? What shoveling." <laughs> Yeah, it's on the DVD. Oh, oh my god, I do have that DVD. You, you can just listen to the commentary. Oh, I'm an idiot then, I'll <laughs> Yeah, it's the DVD that has it. Disney oh. characters riffing their own movie. What are the <laughs> odds? It's <laughs> that a rare commodity. Like a... Well, that technically, like... that's called Lion King 1 and a half. Oh, oh <laughs> true, true. <laughs> yes, I, I told that movie, though. <laughs> That movie was pretty funny, but I prefer Lion King too. I was like. actually surprised that it was pretty good. It was much better than I expect, actually. Come on, yeah, you're... something where at least a quarter of the film's animation is recycled from the first movie. Oh, that's true. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, like... and Scar is there, but we have a surprising lack of Jeremy Irons. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's true. Oh yeah. You know what's fun? That reminds me, speaking of Lion King, I remember when I got older, a lot of my friends were telling me, Oh my god, did you know this was a World War II reference with the, with the hy hyenas? And, and I went, oh. yes. Oh, <laughs> Hitler. Duh. Heil Hitler. <laughs> it was so funny, and I literally looked at my friends and said, yeah, of course. And they're like, what the hell? 
hell? And I'm like, dude, are you kidding me? At the age of five, I was listening to my brother talk about Hitler. <laughs> dude. No, that should be the best moment to talk about Dev Fiora's face. <laughs> yes. Hey, Hitler. Hey, Hitler. Are you, can you do that? No, we have to God, I can't do it for long. <laughs> yeah. No, you should do it, like, really fast. Like, do it at that uh, speed. I know. I could. I can't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's the thing I couldn't. Actually, I, I can't do it for long either. <laughs> I can't do it for long either. I can only do it for a short period of time. If I do it longer, my face goes red and I blush. Aw, oh, that's okay. You're around us. What's the difference? No, it's not, it's not just that. I just can't breathe as I do it. So I run out of air as I'm doing it. Oh, I get light. So I, well, get, I, get, I, get, I get lightheaded when I do it a lot. Even, yeah, we do. Even when I do this. <laughs> Oh god. Oh my god. You know, I was watching um my Spirit of Mickey VHS last night because I was finishing it off, and I went and said, "Oh my god, some some of it just felt so familiar." And I looked up the um one voiceover tape where they had um the guy who played Pete and Walt Disney do the recording yes, of Mr. Mastic's trip. Yeah. <laughs> that's like I think that's I don't know, but I feel like. Like they, Disney uses it so many times. I feel like it's the only one that they own. Actually, that's been confirmed. That's the only one that they're aware of. Really? Yes. Okay, makes that's sense. The, that's what I was. That's what I looked it up myself. Yeah, they apparently. Um, that's like one of the most famous, and it's one of the ones that's actually been released and known. Hmm. I don't think. Okay, they have so it's like the only one known in circulation. Yeah. Okay, they don't makes have. sense. Well, come on. Because like I remember seeing it, seeing that behind the scenes clip so much that I remember when I saw Get a Horse, I can always pinpoint the moments when they would recycle from um, from Mr. Mouse go um, Mr. Mouse. What, what was the short again? Mr. Mouse on the train. Mr. Mouse or? takes the trip. Yeah, makes a Yeah, Mr. Mouse takes the trip. Like they, like how they would often recycle from. Um, like from that that cartoon into get a horse. Well, to be fair, yeah, I can see why they did it. It's just well, yeah, because, because like they yeah, they want to use Disney in real life. Clips. Which uh, which cartoon is this we're talking about? The that's getting recycled. Get uh, a horse. Mister Mouse takes a well, yeah. get a horse. Yeah. But the original cartoon it's from is um, Mister Mouse takes takes a takes a trip. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, oh, what the so, f- You know what I crap ones. Come on, I did a whole presentation on Mickey Mouse for my speech class in college. That was oh. the only way I was getting through speech class. What? Just Pete going, I used to own the little cat ones. <laughs> Actually, there was one sound clip I that I recognized from that. And uh, it was the line telephone. Uh, there, it's uh, from uh, what was the short? It was a. Oh, it was a. Wait, wait, no, the. I'm trying to remember. Uh, that from. In Get a Horse, there's a part where Mickey says telephone. Oh. Uh, because there's a telephone prop being used, and I, of all the things that. That had been recycled in that short. That was the one thing I recognized. It was uh, it was taken from the. It was taken from the one Mickey Donald and Goofy short where they're ghost investigators. Yes, I know exactly. Oh, what I'm lonesome about. ghost. Yes. Lonesome ghost. Yeah. Mhm. Okay, yes, I know yeah. that one. I remember well. that one too, actually. Probably the only other um, Mickey short I always remember this one is Through the Mirror. <laughs> I love well, that's, that's iconic. I remember yeah, that that's, one that's one of the more famous ones. Yeah, because oh, it's it's Disney venturing into Alice territory. Yeah, oh. it's one of the more surrealistic Mickey cartoons. 
That's true, and I always remember that one for, um, yeah, mainly that. I remember, it's on my tape, so I remember a lot of the ones that were on the tape. <laughs> it's like, oh my god. It's actually kind of awesome. I love that tape so much. <laughs> Come on, I'm the Mickey person. I actually got two more Mickeys for my collection, I am pretty happy. <laughs> two more Mickeys? Yeah, I have Mickey stuffed animals. Oh yeah. Here's Go on, Matt. Catch up. <laughs> yeah, that thing. Well, you do not know my Mickey collection, Matt. I probably would surpass you. <laughs> do you have this? Well, that, no. <laughs> exactly. I'm talking Ooh, about in burn. general, though. What? I'm, like a, I'm talking about in general. Like, I have a shit ton of Mickey memorabilia all around my room. Ah. Uh. That's what I'm talking about, Mr. Don't start with me. So, we should, you want to get the uh, cleansing your palate first before we uh, get this started? Yeah, what's the palate thing? Uh, I was gonna, is that like a making of or something? The oh. one I sent you was a making of. Bring up the file. I have it ready. Me too. Yeah, I'm waiting for you guys. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Three, two, one, play. While making of Oliver and Company. Okay. For six unrivaled decades now, Walt Disney Pictures has dwarfed other Hollywood animation makers with its uncanny knack for transforming classic stories into classic family entertainment. 26 full-length features to date, with the 27th on the way. Oh, it's called Oliver and Company, a new twist on an old twist, Oliver Twist. It's Dickens' timeless story, updated the amazingly twist, musical twist. Disney way with this <laughs> outcast kitten fun. starring in the lead as an appealing little orphan Aww. falls in with a tough but lovable gang of street smart dogs. Hey man, check it out. Uh -huh. Hi, it's an alien! <laughs> Who the guy is just a cat? Although Oliver and Company is inspired by a classic English novel, some modern day Disney touches have made it all new and all American. It takes place in because America. New York City. A contemporary place filled with contemporary characters created around the voices of some very contemporary stars. Like actress entertainer Bette ben Midler. Midler. Cads of pampered pedigree poodle named All Georgette. these actors won't be and comedian contemporary Cheech Marin, 20 years from Adding now. his unmistakable Hispanic spice to a hot-blooded chihuahua named Tito. I love Tito. Singer-composer Billy Joel making his yes. acting debut as the fast-thinking, smooth-talking Dodger. A hard guy terrier with a secret soft spot in his heart for the cuddly new kid in the mob. Hey, keep it down, guys. The game's on. Oh, boy, Dodger. <laughs> Some dog has to get help from my cat. <laughs> Lord Joe was suggested more early on by a, by a music director. And at the time, it was like, hmm, Billy Joel? Yeah, you can sing great, but can you act? And uh, he was in New York, and I was here. So we thought, well, the most expedient thing to do, the quickest way to just get like an immediate sort of sense of is he right or not before we go to New York, was to just do it over the phone. So we sent him dialogue. And I played the part of Oliver, and he was dodging. It worked out great. He could really act, and he was really into the part. Why should I worry? Why should I care? Of course, Billy Joel doesn't just act in Oliver and Company. He sings, too. So does Bette Midler and Ruth Pointer and Huey Lewis, too. Each performing one of six original songs. Fine <laughs> tuned to the ears of today's company. highly hip moviegoers, both kids and adults alike. <laughs> one thing that's not new about Oliver and Company is Disney's traditional use of full and expensive hand animation techniques. Frame by frame, for two and a half oh, years, expensive. 300 artists and technicians worked with more than a million story sketches and some 120,000 individual animation cells wow. to produce the final movie. But even here, Disney added an amazing bit of modern electronic magic. Computer-generated background and images this is where to the put hand-animated characters into a world that isn't quite like any other seen on screen before. We're only seeing the tip of the iceberg as to what the, the computer can give to us. How complex does Disney computer imagery really get in Oliver and Company? Hop aboard this motorized trike and see for yourself. It's made up of 18 parts, each moving in 15 different directions at any given time. It's a case of computers doing the detail work, I would have never while guessed, Disney artists actually. spend more human creative time on story and characters. 
Another example, this big production number. Georgette the dog putting on the dog with a Bette Midler song called Perfect Isn't Easy. That's actually one of my favorite We wanted to really songs. push the, the MGM musical kind of a look to it. In Good one game. part here, she comes down at the <gasps> end, this long uh, stairway. And as she's walking down, we have this thing that spirals around. I mean, it's a big stairway that goes down. We put it on the computer and we had the camera sit like right at her feet and as she's walking towards you the camera stays in front of her and just keeps following her back as she walks all the way around then the camera goes way up high into the ceiling it was really exciting to to do that kind of a, a scene with the computer because the background is actually moving in perspective it's something we could have never done 20 years ago as remarkable as they are, don't look for computers to replace human animators at Disney. Because here, electronic trickery is just one of many artistic tools kept strictly in the hands of living, breathing, imagining people. I think one of the great fun things we've been watching in recent years is turning artists loose on computers and watching what comes out of it. Because artists will ask questions that normal people don't ask. Uh, could I do this with this machine, you know? And they really begin to get excited about it. Full animation, handcrafted the same way Walt Disney himself perfected it. Combine it with the latest computer image technology, plus a script full of contemporary words, music, and celebrity voices that tell a time-tested story in a very today kind of way. And you've got the Disney secret for family filmmaking success. It's worked for some 60 years now, and it looks like it's going to keep right on working for a lot of years and a lot of new movies like Oliver and Company still to come. Absolutely positively. Until Pixar comes in and owns it all. <laughs> I was actually laughing at the beginning. It was just like, for six, un for six unrivaled decades. Until just recently when Don Blue came in. Yeah, that, and I was literally saying the same thing. I'm like, what? Uh, oh, yeah. I yeah, I know, it's, it was a documentary during the 88, so it was just like, oh, I didn't for the DVD, but whatever. It's kind of, I just think that's funny, just, it's like, well, we're on the 27th, wait, what? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I would oh, yeah, yeah, and how, the way they uh, always advertise how it's so contemporary, and it's like, yeah, it's contemporary in the 80s. Yeah, are you kidding me, the eight, it's so contemporary in the 80s, I love it. It's... It's so contemporary, it's never going to be dated. Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, dated. Mm. Uh, ooh, that's... Ooh. Yes. Ooh. Him's fighting words. Him's fighting words. <laughs> uh, Mike and hey, Mike you can't deny it. it. can't deny it. I, I want to see a fist fight. Let's go. I'm not saying that it's dated in terms of, like, the movie itself, but just, like, the setting, the choice of celebrities and stuff like that, it's, like... Dated. Oh, oh boy, we're gonna have an adjusted commentary now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, Mike. You may not be arguing with me, you might be arguing with Mike. <laughs> oh, oh rain the childhood. <laughs> And this after the recent Sony card that Mike just, uh, just posted. I know. I know. Oh, no. Censored. <laughs> oh, dear. Mike, you might lose your mind tonight. Um, we'll recommend you a doctor as soon as the commentary we'll see. is We'll over. see what happens. <laughs> Alright, so I'm gonna... I think I found... I found my. I think I found Mike's breaking word. <laughs> dated. Oh no. Eighties and dated. Th those are the two. The fighting those two, words, man. Those two words you don't put together. <laughs> dated and eighties. No. Eighties is timeless I'm... to me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna argue against that. <laughs> <laughs> This is where I'm at, honey. Mm -hmm. All right. Rock, think about it. Without '60s rock and roll, there would be no '80s music. True. 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 Hey, hey. This, I win. This stream that music then. always evolves, and it's always inspiration from the past. So. Ah. 
that one. That's right. <laughs> Remember, I have some comebacks too. You always do. Yeah, though if Matt and I start arguing, that won't be a surprise. <laughs> Huh? Come on, Matt. Each of you know it. What? Don't you remember the first time when we talked about? Although, if we were to talk about Sleeping Beauty, we'd be arguing. <laughs> oh yeah. That movie I think gets it's on because my... of like that or. Was it was just involved with it? Or... Yes. Okay, probably. Yes. That's why. <laughs> Speaking of that, who saw Disney's Descendants? By the way. Not Anybody? me. No. I, I did. No. Um, <laughs> I, I don't want I, I saw it. Just, I will tell you this, Matt. Um, the actress that played Maleficent is definitely a better actress for Maleficent than Angelina Jolie. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought that was one of the better aspects of the movie. Like, she, like Angelina Jolie can be a great Maleficent. She just needs a better script. Well, yeah, okay. There's The one thing I liked about the Disney's Descendants, well, it was Kristen Chenoweth who played her and I thought she was great. And she actually did play the role well. She played a truly evil castle. It was kind of awesome. Yeah. That, that I will recommend. I'll just say, I already know who would like this and who would not. Mike, avoid it. <laughs> James, I would say check it out if you want to. And Matt, caution, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't even know it because it's the same guy who made High School Musical. Right. That made That's the thing. Musical. It's a Disney Channel original movie. Yeah. It's funny because exactly if it's live action and it's Disney Channel, <laughs> it's, it's, it's funny. I I like the Disney Channel movies. <laughs> that 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 explains it. It's funny because Friday night when it premiered, I was watching TV with my mom and she was flipping channels, and she turned on the Disney Channel and, she, and it was like towards the end of the movie I think I don't know it was a random clip where they're singing and dancing I don't know what part that was but. She asked me, what is this? And I'm looking at it, I was like, uh, that <laughs> is High School Musical? No, 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 I'll... Disney Ascendants. <laughs> oh my god, I remember my mom came in while I was watching Disney's Descendants. She said, I've never seen this before, and I said, that's because it's new. <laughs> oh, this shit was advertised mm-hmm. everywhere, and even, it was like, there was even a promo about, like, a book? It was like... Yep. Apparently, oh, yeah. they, apparently they want to do an animated spinoff on it. What? what? Yeah, I am dead serious. They want to do where an animated spinoff. Where is that whole where, purpose? Where is that? I didn't hear nothing about that. I heard nothing about that. I don't remember where I found it. I looked at it at late at night and I forgot. What? I would think there would be like I a... I forgot to look it up. <laughs> don't ask me. I don't remember. <laughs> don't we already... Doesn't that already exist? Like a series of that? Is it? Isn't Once Upon a Time enough? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't... I don't know. I already what? keep telling people that how, that House of Mouse is still airing on TV. It's just live action in Once Upon a Time, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, except uh, no. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna take you to to task on that. I and as somebody who enjoyed House of Mouse and enjoys I like, I really and, like and still Mouse. enjoys Once Upon a Time. I'm I want to see a, a a battle regardless. Oh. No, I really oh, like no. I really like House of Mouse, oh, no. but like I'm, oh, I, I, I haven't really House. seen uh, Once Upon a Time. I'm not gonna deny if it's a good show, but I feel like okay with the amount of like surprise special ge- Disney special guests they're gonna have, it might as well be freaking. Mouse. Uh, I mean, they're gonna bring in Merida, for God's sakes. Well, yeah. Sure. Okay, Devin is right. I mean, because because they they realize that there there's just as many adults out there probably that enjoy fairy tales as as there are kids, so they might as well cater to that audience as well. So yeah, I don't. I'm- I don't really think that the difference, well, the difference between uh, House of Mouse, uh, House of Mouse is if you like, if you like cartoons, and uh, to be honest, all the all the Disney characters there, they they're not really the main part of the show. They don't, they're not 
in the shorts. Those are for the those are for the classic characters like Mickey, Donald, Goofy. Um, the film characters you just you just sort of see sitting in the audience, and they and they pop up and intervene at uh, at different points when they're needed. Um, with, uh, with Once Upon a Time, they're giving, they're giving those characters now, I should say, a bit more, a, a, a bit more screen time and, and purpose. Well, I grew up with House of Mouse, but I didn't watch Once Upon a Time, amazingly, <laughs> but I guess it's just came on at a wrong time, and I was not paying attention to what's on TV, but I loved House of Mouse growing up, mainly because one, it's Disney, two, it's Mickey, and three, I remember House of Villains. <laughs> the old mm. one, too. I saw, I saw that movie on Netflix when I was at a friend's house, and she and I just went, I have to watch this, please, can we watch it? And she let me turn it on, <laughs> so I could shut up. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Uh, that was a fun movie. It was not as good as I remembered, but <laughs> I still loved it, though. It's just the villains, and it's... They're trying to take over the House of Mouse. Come on. I actually heard someone say that how, the best way to describe House of Mouse is that it's D23 before D23. Uh, okay, that makes sense. It does. D23? Isn't... Yeah, you know the Disney fan club? Like yeah. The official Disney fan club. Mm. Very exclusive. Very exclusive club. Yes. <laughs> Another bit of randomness, according to the recent Jim Hell podcast, um, I I haven't uh, I I haven't gotten everything here, but uh, there's a rumor now starting. That the new Ducktales is going to be CGI. Yeah, I heard about. I heard that rumor apparently. I heard about that too. I'm like. Well, it's uh, new. It's for a new generation, so it's not gonna be like the 2D animation. I I don't know. I'm. I'm just hoping with this new Ducktales that they do bring back the old actors or as many of them as they can. Ooh, yeah, that'd be interesting actually, especially. I don't. I don't think I can get them all, obviously. But maybe get as many as they can, because I don't know how old these actors are, to be honest. Well, and they no, I I'm sure, I'm pretty sure they can. Uh, like they it, it's Duck all a matter of they can do that. They would they be considered like too old. Because here's the thing, they did the, they actually did that recently with the Ducktales remastered. Yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, that's right. Not gonna lie, like that was one of the first things that I did kind of re like realize. It's like, oh my god, it's like they are kind of past their prime. It's like you could. Like, you can honestly, like, they're tr they try. Yeah, like, you like, can, you, hear, you can like, hear it a bit in the dialogue, you can, sort of. It's like they're trying to be, but yeah. they're just past their yeah. prime now. Yeah, that's just, the thing. It just depends, yeah. Or if they do get a new uh, new cast, hopefully stand up. Some of likes, at least. No, but there are some that they can keep, like, like, whoever, like the ones playing Hugh, like, I think... Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I think they were all right. Like, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. Yeah, was all right. Um, Launchpad was... Launchpad is still Launchpad. Oh, yeah. And Gizmo, and... Uh, Launchpad is Launchpad. Crap, who played the... Crap. Which one? What was the name? I, I forgot her name. Well, okay. Well, the one who plays the little girl, Abby. Webby. Oh. Abby's, Abby. Webby. 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 Webby, I was close. Uh, but yeah. who is, like, the maid woman? Magica. The big... <gasps> What? Magica. No, that's sorcerer. No, not that. Like, no. This is Beakley. This is Beakley, yeah. Mrs. Beakley, yeah. Mrs. Beakley is alright. Well, Mrs. Beakley was a new actress. What? Yeah, Mrs. Beakley was a new actress in the game. Really? Yeah. Because oh. I think the original actress passed, I believe. Oh, okay. So the yeah, Mrs. Beakley was a new, younger uh, actress doing the voice, which I thought was pretty good. No, no, no. Oh, no, she was great. She was great. Mm -hmm. Maybe find... Maybe find a way to... Maybe... Like... Maybe not replace... Maybe, maybe not replace Scrooge. Not 100% sure. 
But yeah. maybe replace June, like maybe replace June Foray as Magicka. Yeah. She's fantastic. She's a legend. Oh but... yeah. I do remember Magicka actually. I think I have my one tape. Um, has that episode, one of the episodes with her in it, and I do love that. I love all the tapes that I have with Ducktales. So, I have like four of them. <laughs> I remember growing up going to my grandma's because my grandma did not have VC, did not have um, cable, so every time I went over, I always watched Ducktales. Oh my <laughs> God, Alan Young, who plays Scrooge, is gonna turn 96 this fall. Oh yeah, but yeah, I don't think he could. Oh my do God. It anymore. Oh my God, Alan Young, yeah. Oh my God, he's getting old. I mean, God, I can't. There's... He's at the age where you're too, where people are getting too scared to at least like talk to him or like. Or or anything, just wave at him because any any gust of wind would just he'll just turn into dust. <laughs> Dude, you, oh you, my made, God. you made that joke for Mel Brooks when he turns older. Oh my what? God! <laughs> but like you know what I mean. I know. That, that's I fucking. Know. That's what. That's because, well, that's how I feel about like when you pass like somewhere like like over ninety or something. <laughs> I, that's oh my god. Because I feel that for several people, like especially like June Foray, who's like almost a hundred, and still doing voiceover work. And now we got like Alan Young, like and Mel Brooks, like yeah, he's getting there. Yeah, some people like you just can't do like voice acting or anything with them anymore because they're just too old. No, I mean no. Are some, like you can, but they can't reprise their roles. Like if you oh, want to yeah. hire Ray for like whatever new part you have, she can definitely do it. It's just like if you're gonna ask, like if you're gonna ask her to do Magica, maybe not. Like, but funny enough, funny enough, you could still bring her up for Granny because she's at the right age. Oh. <gasps> <gasps> Oh, she'll be doing Granny till the day she dies. Exactly. Oh, yeah. Oh, my she God. She even said in, like, interviews, like, she's pretty much at the point where, like, you know, like, I have to be, like, when I when when I started this with Mel Blank, I had to pretend to do it. Now I can just actually do it. <laughs> oh, my God. That's funny. Oh, wow. Yeah, she really did voice some characters I really knew. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> I forgot about that. Yeah, actually, I remember when watching um, when I saw the advent, the, like the movie, The Adventures of Rocky and Bullwinkle. Terrible movie, but I remember like one of the things that made me sad. It was June Foray playing Rocky. I felt oh. like she was way past her prime. Oh. Oh. oh my god, that was horrible. Wouldn't say it's horrible, but it was just she was trying at least. Well, uh, gotta get the Mac. I think, she, she also did the, I think she also uh, did Rocky in that in that DreamWorks short not too long ago. Oh, I didn't see it. I heard it was horrible, apparently. So, so I was reading something, and uh, Terry McGovern, who plays uh, Launchpad, stated on Facebook that the entire cast would be replaced. For, um, for the new series. Wow. So, yes. Yeah, I sort of figured that would be. I mean, oh, said. and saying he felt heartsick at the news. Yeah, that's so, uh, every. Uh, oh, I, can sort of oh, I don't that. want to be replaced. I I remember. Did you guys hear about like the Powerpuff Girls and how that? Yes, yes. that was a major controversy. Yes, actually. especially Tara oh, Strong. Yes. Oh my God. I felt so Tara bad. Tara Strong was like, so was sad so about it. She was Barbara. upset. Oh my God. That I felt no, so bad. I saw firsthand on Twitter. Like, she was so heartbroken. Mm -hmm. well, it's, I nothing about the, it's nothing about the actresses themselves. No. It was because of, uh, Nick, it was because of, uh, Cartoon Network. Yeah. Yeah, like, for I some know. Reason, you want to hire them back. Like, why? Yeah. I, I don't get it. That makes no sense. Like, is it just a generation thing? But that makes no sense. If people know who Tara Strong is. I mean, I mean, seriously, she's probably still voice acting today. I don't, I... Oh. Okay. Well, yeah, My Little Pony. Oh, yeah. Well, yeah, see? Is My Little Pony even popular anymore? Well, it's... it still has a fan base. It still has I mean... a fan base, but it's not. It's like, not I guess strong. it kind of passes. 
It's not as strong as it was before, but still. Yeah. yeah. It's, That's it's, what I mean. uh, it's made up of uh, it's made up of Logan and Sam. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to pass further. I, I saw Logan's going to do those videos of My Little Pony. Yeah, I saw that too, and I was like, it's a good luck, dude. Good luck with that, <laughs> man. Get all those bronies. Be like, what are you gonna do? Talk about my show. Oh, do you know what's gonna? I just thought it, that that always cracks me up. I was like, like oh, I bet he might get some bad. Re who knows? He may get good or bad reception. But I thought it was funny that Mac got great reception from bronies and non-fans. <laughs> Equestrian girl. Oh yeah, the Equestrian Girls review. I knew like I was entering trouble, but yeah, I came out alive surprisingly. Yes, you came out alive. I didn't have to um. Put a shield around you or anything. <laughs> shield. I'll protect you. Didn't have to resuscitate well, him. I guess I understand what Logan is trying to do with the My Little Pony thing. Like, I guess, like, he's trying, like, in a sense, like, he could be emulating emulating uh, Doug Walker with what he's doing with, like, Adventure Time, Gravity Falls, and Steven Universe and stuff like that. Yeah. You know, those retrospective right, things? Yeah. yeah, of course. Mm -hmm. Well, technically, Mike and I are sort of doing that with, um, yeah. he's a fan it's... of in a podcast sort format, of. but it's yeah. just... It's... I'm honestly I'm honestly thinking of doing that with the new Muppet show coming up. I, I'm not even a little surprised. That, that makes me be a little interesting. I could do that. Oh, I'm actually what? watching Muppet that. show vlogs? Show vlogs. Oh, that'd be... Show vlogs. That'd be really cool. The Has Muppet anybody show? ever done a Muppet, like, Muppet show vlogs, actually? I don't think, I don't so. think so. That's a, oh, That I... is something fresh and creative. Nobody has done no, it! Well, but... Of course, I can do well. Of course, like with the new Muppet Show, but like maybe even afterwards, I can do like you know, the original series and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. Hey, that might not, that might be a fun little project for you. So like I was thinking, maybe uh, like after that, like I could do stuff like Gravity Falls and Stupid Universe, but like yeah, it's like everybody's doing it. Exactly, like, do something that nobody else is doing. Do, do the Muppets so, definitely. I would agree with that because think about it, nobody's done the Muppets. I don't think anybody has, I'm, and I would be. You guys have you given love, me the idea, actually. I would. I say go for it. I will. I actually am planning to watch the show when I can. So yeah, I'm. I. Go. You go, dude. <laughs> yeah, I would say just avoid the popular shows right now and do that. Yeah. Well, like popular shows, like it's easy to get the views and stuff like that, but it's like. Like, I feel like, I, I would feel, like, sellouty. Like, you just do it, and because it's like, oh, because it's popular and stuff like that, and people will come in t for the views and stuff. It's like, right. mm. I see but it's it like, do I really want to watch Steven Universe? Do I really want to watch Gravity Falls? Like, I'm not denying they're fantastic shows. It's just like, if I'm going to do it for that, I don't know. But for Muppets, that could do be the a Muppets. Nice. You love the Muppets. Do the Muppets. Yeah. I, that would be fun. Hey, you can let your little fanboy out. Do it for Jim. 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 I can even continue on, like, for the, like, I can, I can even, you know, the funny thing is, is that I even got, like, VHSs of, like, the later ones, because, like, so far Disney only released 1, 2, and 3, season 1, 2, and 3 on, uh, the, on, um, on DVD, but I actually have VHSs of all, like, the later seasons and stuff like that. There you go. Yeah, Disney's been a little lazy. In the... I, and I even have, like, the Jim Henson Hour, and I think I also have Muppets Tonight. Yeah, you'll be set. You'll be set. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you'll... My God, you guys have given me an amazing brainstorm. Holy crap. That's when you need to talk to people. You get You're feedback. Welcome. Easier. You'll, you'll be amazed. Mike asks me for feedback all the time. That's what I do. I ask people for feedback, and I just... Feed off people. It's like, oh, that can work, or that can not work. You just look so excited right now. I actually am. Actually. I can't blame you, to be honest. Because like I've already set up like a week, like a weekly set schedule. It's like it'll feel great that I can do like, like now I can do videos like twice a week, and like I'll have easy ones to do, and then like for Fridays I'll have like actual ones that I put in effort. Mm-hmm. There you go. See, there you go. See, I'm already excited for you. I will watch those. <laughs> and then I'm gonna have to ask Morgan. Um, you might need to help me. <laughs> 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 
Or it's my Muppet Man that I will call. I'll be like, can you help me? Am I a man? Or am I a Muppet Man? If he's our, he's our Muppet Fox. Yep, he's yeah, our Muppet, Muppet Fox. Fox. Yep. <laughs> Fox. He's the Muppet Fox, you're the... I can't think of what you would be, Matt. <laughs> you were a stupid fedora, I can't think of anything. <laughs> I'd be crazy hairy. <laughs> okay, that'll work. <laughs> do, do you know what's funny? I remember I took a Muppet's personality quiz to see which one I was the most like. And, and I remember I told friends of mine, I said, I got Kermit. And they're like, I can see why. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> I love Kermit, he's my favorite. <laughs> I was like, who's I my remember, Miss Piggy? I remember at, on the Disney blog thing, they actually have this really good, um, like, they, they're they actually really good at doing questionnaires. One of which I remember they did was um, the hardest Muppet Disney Park questionnaire you'll ever have. Yeah, I, I, actually, I decided to try it out, and, I, and uh, like, they really go thorough. Like, they'll talk about like little moments when the Muppets appeared at the Disney parks or like little tiny details that happened in Muppet Vision 3D. I actually managed to get like 11 out of 16. I got the same score as Morgan actually. Ooh. Oh wow. Nice. I even so funny thing is that I even so my mom this and she was there like, oh I can do it. the amount of times I went with you with Muppet Vision 3D, I know how to do this. And my mom, like right afterwards my mom was like, what the hell is this? That reminds me, when I was, um, I was, I literally, um, my mom was doing a Disney quiz. It was like one of the Disney quizzes where, um, you had to guess where a certain character came from. And my mom called me down, and she's like, Dad, I need your help. I can't pick her. She couldn't get half of them right. And I was like, Mom, that's because you didn't watch these movies as much. I literally answered every question correctly, and she's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was hysterical, and I said, Mom, that's the answer, and I literally couldn't stop laughing after I finished the quiz. <laughs> I was like, I'm done. <laughs> oh my god. I was just, that was a blast, though. Uh, my friends always will post on my wall, take this Disney quiz, just to see if I get all of them correct, and three quarters of the time I do. <laughs> Because I am mm -hmm. that much of a nerd. <laughs> Did too much research. Alright. Where did Mike go? <laughs> Mike left him. Where did he go? He, ex he could have exploded. <laughs> you know, oh, Matt, you want to know something kind of funny? Yeah. Well, okay. I was talking to Morgan. We were talking about you last night with, um, since he posted that picture or share that picture on your wall. And um, he was literally messaging me saying, I, I have a theory, I think Matt is part Kitsune. <laughs> Cause you wear your fedora, <laughs> and like you would hide oh, fox ears. <laughs> <Wait a minute. laughs> and how weird. strong you are, so that made me laugh. <laughs> That's part <laughs> But Hey, I'll believe anything at this point. Most of us fans fans think he's part Jesus. <laughs> That's hysterical. Well, you're either part Jesus or all no no, you're you're either all Jesus or not Jesus. You can't be I, part Jesus. I don't know what people think, honestly. They're just crazy. <laughs> I I can I be Zeus? Zeus? <laughs> no, just Zeus. If I have to be part Jesus, I, I can be this. I got it. <laughs> no, but no, but after that last picture, we can call you Jesus. <laughs> you know the funny thing is, the reason why I wanted to try out that tiara is like, because like it was kind of like that like the toy tiara where it like it has that thing on the side. Like I just yeah. wanted to try to put it like on my head so it looks like a Princess Peach or Daisy crown. Like, oh just my that, God. that little crown that sits on top of their heads. It really does look like it. I, I remember, I saw that picture, and I was on with, on Skype with Morgan, and I literally burst out laughing, so... I was like, you look like you're high! 
Because I got high. Because I got high. Then Morgan showed me the picture, and now I know why. Yeah, because I got high. Because I got high. Because I got high. I would hate to. S I would wonder what would happen if you were high on Skype. That would be scary. <laughs> I would be scared. That would be one slow cinema podcast. Amen. So hey, this is Cinema Royale, and I'm here with my next step. <laughs> hey man, got some munchies. This was two months in the making just to convince Jada to try it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. No, no, I actually, I drove to Jada's house, man, and I, we both smoked some pot together, and we, now we're on the screen for the first time together. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Didn't she bitch slap you both, silly? <laughs> No, that's when she realized what we were done. Well, yeah, she'll probably bitch slap you both silly. Her hands and are gonna I be too busy with Cheetos. Actually, my hands will be too busy with Cheetos. Oh. We'll, we'll get all the Mountain Dews we could have, you know, get that live wire and get all that, uh, all, get Count Chocula. You know what's funny? I am so sorry you did not call that, um, Things you put in your mouth because I bet a buttload of perverted people would have been oh. very disappointed. <laughs> well, nobody's. nobody's <laughs> Don't you put it in your mouth. Thank God. I don't know. It was kind of... Hey, that's our thing. <laughs> yeah, thank God nobody saw what they actually put in the mouth because, uh, besides, Matt saying, What's Ruby Scoop in my mouth? <laughs> Hey, I did it, didn't I? You did, but nobody else saw it because the video capture didn't fucking work that night. Oh, oh my god. So it's all for audio. Oh, that sucks. Yeah, I do remember I was watching, I was like, that sucks. Because <laughs> the motherfucker. Because I, I did the video capture, I assumed it was okay. I tested it once, and I restarted it, and it was like, okay, let's see if it works. Stopped it after a two hour call, and I looked at it, it was like, it recorded a three minute clip. <laughs> and that was like during our cinema lounge session. I was like, okay, that's not gonna work. That really. That really sucks. You know, is that gonna be your thing now? Whenever I try to do a stupid voice, you're just gonna tell me to shut up and stop. Oh, shut up. <laughs> yep, that's gonna be our thing now. I'm so used to birds at this point. I'm like Gilbert Gottfried. I'm very used to birds. <laughs> First there's Petey, the penguin, and now there's Donald. Oh, yeah, yeah. I gotta, gotta work on that. Good project with Petey. Alright, are we gonna start this commentary? Because apparently we've been... Okay, we're good. We've been going at this for over an hour, you know that? Yeah, I was wondering why. Shut up. By the way, just a little heads up. I just checked a little bit about the movie. Just advance a little bit to 14 se Just advance a bit to 14 seconds because apparently, I know. like, it freezes on the web as you picture. I pictures. told everybody that. You didn't realize that? It, no. I no, in, you didn't. I said in the chat, yeah, I was... It was in the chat. I was... Oh. I was going to say that yes, for some reason when I ripped the DVD, it froze on the logo for 14 seconds. Oh my god. So. Did you just get the DVD or is it like the Blu ray DVD combo? It was the. Through Netflix? It was oh, Netflix. Just the, oh, just Netflix. Netflix it. Oh, okay. It's the, it was the 20th anniversary DVD. Uh. Not the 25th. Anniversary one, so so yeah. Because the bonus features around that were pretty good. There was really good stuff on that DVD. Wow, I was like, wow, it's good stuff. 
Yeah, it could happen. Yeah, it does. It's true. It does happen when sometimes the DVD can be better than the Blu-ray. This is why I keep my Hunchback DVD, my Hunchback DVD because it's, apparently it's better than the Blu-ray. Well, plus the fact that you don't you don't carry the guilt of owning uh, Hunchback Two. Um, I actually do want that combo because I like the sequel. <laughs> why? Because Gaston is in it. <laughs> I always thought of Hunchback 2 as, like, a really bad version of Beauty and the Beast. Oh my god, that's so true. That's because it is. And that's exactly what it is, and that's what makes it funny. It's so true. Look at this bell! It's beautiful! the last I'll be right oh, back. Yeah. Alright, that'll work. Oh my god, that's so true. I, I do, actually, um, I do love that sequel. Not as much as the first film or anything, but I love that sequel. It's a guilty pleasure love, but it's... So... It's like the Oogie Loves kind of love for me. I can't help it. It's just so bad, but I like it. Because it's so bad. <laughs> you know, I'm really tempted. You know, uh, there's a part of me that's really tempted to watch it, watch Oogie Loves again, just to see how it, how it is now that I know everything. Like, now I know what to expect. <laughs> It's been eight months since. I would, I would join you for that one. <laughs> I literally wanted to watch that, and I remember um, Mark was going to watch it with Actually, me. <laughs> that'd be a good commentary. That'd be a fun commentary, that'd, and I would that'd, join... That'd be a good commentary. <laughs> we all rewatch and go insane, <laughs> maybe. Um, I'd probably be insane as I want to test out if my theory when I went insane is correct. That this is a retelling of the nativity story. <laughs> that was pretty funny, actually. I just literally went, oh my god. And I, I think there's people that now follow the pillow Christ. I hate to break to you. But the dynamic you know, is now the dynamic. I'll try to, I'll try to really mean? try to bring it back once it, it's re-uploaded on YouTube. Is he with yes, himself. I want to see that again. That well, would be hysterical. I would join you for a commentary course, on that movie. Consider it a free lesson in street <laughs> I'll be like, yes, sign me up. <laughs> it's turkey loves damage. <laughs> okay. I have the movie up now. Oh my god. Yeah, hey. 14 second mark. Oh, yeah, geez. how are we gonna time this? Hey, James, we were just talking about rewatching Oogie Loves. Want to join? <laughs> yeah, do you want to? I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> so, would this be a commentary of just Matt, Mike, and I? No, yeah. Uh, yeah, you can yeah, do I that. Can, I that'd be good, because Terminator Salvation Counter is really good as so. well. Actually, yeah, I would do it again. Yeah, I remember um, some of my friends. We could bring in, you know, you know, it would be funny. We could bring in Jada just to see what happens. Oh, God. Oh, Jada would suffer. Oh God, yeah, I don't know. Okay, let me get it to the 14 seconds. Well, hey Jada, do you want, hey Jada, do you want the Princess Diaries? Well, here, here he is now. <laughs> do you don't you mean the Princess Bride? Oh. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah, the princess. Look. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's. Yeah, it's very. What? It's like not even 14. It's like the tail end of 13 seconds before it goes. It's gonna be right, perfect for the timing. Yeah, I'm ready for it. I got a 13 seconds. So. Yeah, I was. But last week when I wanted to talk about the <laughs> difference between Greeny versus HD, I was looking at. Uh, why should I worry on YouTube? Somebody uploaded it, the original oh. quality, and somebody uploaded the Blu-ray quality, and I was looking both of them, and I was like, whoa, because the HD looks like sleek and glossy, and while the old and grainy looked like the 80s. Oh. Come on. Yeah. <laughs> 80s. Uh, okay. But I just, I can't I just loved like the HD look. It was just weird. Like, oh, I'll watch that too. That was great. When, like, when nobody wanted to talk about that, they wanted to talk about food and drinks. I'm just not gonna comment on that. Let's. All right, just. I'm just shush, 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 shush. I got a 13. Shush, shush. All right, so let me just start this off. We'll kind of do an introduction here. So, okay. Um, 
my microphone's back here actually, I moved my microphone cuz it's always too close to my computer so it's always, you hear the fan going in the background. That's, that's, that's the hiss, so. I'm in pitch black darkness, you can never see me unless you want to die. Sorry, so I drank 2.5 liters of root beer, so I'm all hyped up. You listen to me? You're a dipshit. <laughs> Why do you realize this? It's all gone. Eh? Yeah, he, he literally messaged me and asked me, should I drink fruity alcoholic drinks tonight or root beer? I said, oh, whatever you want, but I would recommend the root beer so you're not drinking. Oh God, fruity <laughs> alcoholic drinks. Well, <laughs> just a podcast of a drunken bike. <laughs> I, I still, I got him in the fridge, so I'll do that on Sunday and be like, hey, everybody. <laughs> oh, man, I'm going to miss that? You oh, shit. God. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Actually, I'm kind of glad that we, we already had that 80s talk, like, already over, because I don't think I want to have that talk with drunk Mike. <laughs> <laughs> shit, yeah, but... Uh, oh. The shit, oh. I love the 80s. As time as you shit him, bitch. <laughs> what if, what what if uh, uh, the worst part after afterward would be like, uh guys, um, hate to tell you this, but I forgot to press record. <laughs> Something you do if you were drunk. It's like, <laughs> it's like, oh, like, oh, like oh, oh god, I think that's all set. I forget. Let me start this off. And you're just like, hey, <laughs> just oh guys. My god, I'm that's... back. Big safe. And this is my similar. What the fuck are these guys doing here? <laughs> we have some freaking Canadian over here. We got a Canadian and we got a Canadian with tits. Let's start with the one with the tits. Hey, Matt. <laughs> well, wearing the Kermit shirt, how can you tell, you know? <laughs> I thought you said Have you seen with... that shirt you're wearing, Matt? Yeah. I thought you said the one with the tits. I said what? I said, that's what I said. <laughs> I can't breathe. I mean, look at his shirt right now. They look like tits. Ooh. <laughs> more feminine right now. That would be bad. Oh, yeah, okay. I'm the one with the tits, honey. They I'm look like... Wrong. They look like tits with slits, you know? <laughs> It's Muppet's like I took gone. down I took down my bra a bit. Muppet's gone too far. <laughs> this ain't record, is it? I think it is recording. Oh. This whole this whole hour conversation. Um yeah, All right. send that to me. I'll probably send it <laughs> to everybody. Okay. Just let me. Alright, let's shh, roll hippie. Shush shush. Shut up. Shut up. <laughs> Okay. Uh, quiet, Sh Teddy. <laughs> shush, Kermit, shush, amputee woman. <laughs> maybe I did have a fruity drink before this. Oh. Maybe I had a fruity drink, baby. I can't remember. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go, here we go. Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> Fuck you, asshole. <laughs> I'll be back. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna swear, uh, you know what, let's screw it, I'm done, I'm done. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay, okay. Three, two, one. <laughs> Mike, I'm talking. <laughs> oh my god, man, I'm so sorry for the, for the long Ouch. delay. <laughs> I know we didn't start until an hour later, but... Hey, it's actually... To be fair, if we would have started 
any any later, we would have been on here till three in the morning. Yeah, Sorry. true. So we would have been on here till three. No, we're only on. Here. This is a record. It's it's still gonna be three hours. Who cares? Oh, it's the price to pay, I suppose. It's a, yeah, it's the price to pay. We're all here together. We're talking about Disney. So and... we're all passionate about. Well, I, I adore Disney. I mean, come on. Again. Hello. <laughs> hey, you. <laughs> yeah, my my brother is going to Disneyland in this uh, October. I'm I'm gonna try and see if I can piggyback on that. Oh, really? Lucky. Ooh, do that, man. I mean, take me with you. <laughs> October, man. That's when we do our Disney episodes. Oh, yeah, that's right. I remember. I literally found out. I was like, you moved it to October? Yeah, is, we're, we're celebrating Matt's birthday in October. Yeah, that's true. It's, it's going to be Anna Matt's birthday month. Alright. Actually... The big 2-3, man. To... Big 2-3. Hey, hey, the big D-23. <laughs> yes, yes! I would try. I would want to join at least the animated one if I can squeeze it in my schedule. <laughs> I would want to join that one at the very least, because that is my expertise. I don't have as much expertise in the live action. Ones. Right, right, and mm -hmm. it'll be interesting to talk about the live action ones at least, but the animated ones are just going to be full. <sighs> it'll be crazy. The animated ones are the ones I know best. Honey. Everybody knows uh, animated. I grew up with Disney. I animation Disney expert, honey. <laughs> I'm the cute one too. <laughs> what is this a boy band now? <laughs> yep. I'm the cute one. I'm the smart one. I'm the tough, rugged one. Um, I'm, I'm the one with glasses. <laughs> and I'm the big one that likes to eat food. <laughs> I love a story when it has food in it. <laughs> I love a story when it has food in it. Oh I love my Einstein. god. He's such a... I'm gonna be. It's like, I'm the cute one. Matt's the pain in the ass. Mike, you're the. <laughs> I'm the pain in the ass. I don't have to talk much, you know. James, and you, I still get branded the pain in the ass. <laughs> Matt's. See, to be fair. If I had to choose between James and Matt, who was the bigger pain in the ass, I'm going with Matt. So, <laughs> oh, what did I do? <laughs> we we always pick on Matt. We're, we love oh. him. So, Come well, on. at least with you, well, at least with you guys, I know it's like for funsies. At least you got you don't take it too far, like Jada. Oh, that's true. Uh, not yet. I haven't yet tried to do a Photoshop of you in a dress, so... <laughs> I've been in a dress. What are you talking about? <laughs> That's what theater does to you. What can I say? What role were you playing what? then? <laughs> I don't remember. You know what's Inside sad? Inside Secret confession Confessions. Matt Damn was it. in... Matt wore a dress. Ooh, that's the top secret. Secret Matt was confessions from Cinema Royale. <laughs> what, like you guys haven't? I am a I, woman. I have. <laughs> God damn it, I'm the one that has it. That's not fair. I, I dress. Okay. My story is. I, uh. LT and I once, uh. crashed, uh. Before his wedding, we crashed the the hen party, dressed as women. <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> oh. And the best part is, the best part is we went and we woke up his uh, his father-in-law after the fact, and. The guy, the guy looked right through my disguise, but at first, he got fooled by LT, though. <laughs> what? Oh my god. Seriously? 
Yes. <laughs> I can imagine he would be fooled until he starts talking. Like, he sees a beautiful woman in front of him, and then suddenly, like, yo, man, what the fuck's going on? <laughs> so, Mike, have you worn a dress? You might as well... What's your frickin' pussy? Come on. <laughs> There's no... Nothing, nothing... <sighs> You're not a man until you wear a woman's dress. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, you're not a true man until you're wearing a dress, honey. Come on. Where's your... Get... get Do you still really want me to dress in drag just because of yes. Mrs. Doubtfire? Yeah. Yes. You dipshit. Oh, yeah, that thing. Everybody's waiting for that. I want to see this. I want to see you look beautiful in that dress. Yeah. I want to see you wear makeup. Nope. I want to see you... Nope. <laughs> New me, who's he? Come on, man. Do it for Robin. Do it for Robin. Don't you put that pressure on me, damn it. Do it for Robin. Robin, if Robin could do it for a movie, you could do it for Cinema Royale. So don't you start. You little widow wimp, you. No, 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 no. No, no. I'm... Come on, the world needs our Michelle mixtape. I've been called Michelle before, so I'm not, I'm so used to that. We need Michelle we need <laughs> We want next time next time on Cinema Royale we want you to come in drunk and drag. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 I could do one part, but I even do I'm not I don't know. We oh, need man. gender bending in the show. <laughs> well you do Which I'm realize... honestly surprised I have not been gender bending yet, actually. I, I think oh. um Emilio and I were talking about that. She wants to make a gender bent drawing of you. I said do it. <laughs> I am dead what serious. Rule, what internet rule was that? I forgot what it was. That's the thing, that's why I said I'm surprised I haven't yet. Yeah, because so... Yeah, because I think I was talking to Amelia about that because she posted the one picture. I thought that was you. With the hat in the... Oh, well, yeah, that thing. That was you. I was like, is that you? And she's like, no. And, and I said, I want to do a gender bent mat, though. And I said, do it, do it, do it. Oh, dear. <laughs> well, she's a good artist. She could pull it off. Oh, no, she's an amazing artist, definitely. <laughs> okay. okay. Like, oh, good God, it's gonna... It might happen. Oh, yeah, Red, I have... Rule 63... Okay, that's what I thought. Cause I, I keep thinking about Rule sixty nine. <laughs> no, that's the that's sixty nine. Every everything, Rule sixty nine, an internet rule is that everything that you know is a there's a porno version of it. Oh, that's thirty four. That's thirty four. Yeah. Yeah, I thought that was thirty four. Wait, what is? I don't remember. These rules. Rule sixty nine. Sixty nine is what is what you see in Rule thirty four. Mm, more or less. See, I told you the internet's way too like, fucking complicated. Like, like for Rule sixty nine to happen, you, you like let, let's say there's a, there's Animat's reviews and then to be like a porn version of Animat's reviews. <laughs> like that's Animat porn. Animat porn. So that wait, doesn't so exist, that means right? he has to that be shirtless. Exist, right? That doesn't no, exist, right? No, you're not right? that famous yet, that bad. Okay. All that would be hilarious. That would be hilarious. I'd be like, hey everybody, I'm Animat. Let me strip down oh. for you. Actually, I would watch that. <laughs> let me let me talk about the movie as I strip down to my skivvies. Yes. This is the naked reviews. Rule sixty nine. When the number when the number sixty nine comes up in a conversation, and then this conversation inevitably changes towards course towards a more sexual topic. In rare cases, actual sixty nine has occurred. That's the Urban Dictionary. All right. So we're so if we're gonna turn into a more animat porn, that Tay technically we follow the rule already, Mike. <laughs> so what is this like animat porn where he's dressed? He just, <laughs> just for the fan I, girls. I, I take the, my fedora off. I take the. I put my Woo. dick in the DVD. So Technically, he what? can take everything off but the fedora. <laughs> oh, yes, yes, it's perfect. But the fedora just goes stripping down. What is wrong with you guys? <laughs> You're talking about the fedora. I mean, you need to. Well, what's the point? Is this what you want to see? 
Um, <laughs> they're looking at the... They're looking at the tits on your shirt, man. I told you about that. Yeah, well, we've always wanted to see anime porn. So, do you know what's ironic? <laughs> I literally got into my Harlequins and animation look back at the same time. So, technically, I was getting Harley into Harley Quinn? What? Yeah, I'm dead serious. <laughs> what? Yeah, I was reading She's Harley... She's getting a Harley Quinn. Shut up. <laughs> no, I was reading my, um, erotica books the same time I discovered animation look back. Oh. Erotica. Erotica. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> now, <laughs> I think she just imagines Animat in the situations. There you go. <laughs> Guilty as charged, honey. What Guilty as charged. <laughs> Sorry, dude. Just think of Anime in Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> It's a random, random night. Um, you do realize that we turned this Disney, we turned this Disney commentary into a animat porn night, right? Well, you know, you just talk to, you, just, you only talk about the fact that I would be in a porno. No, 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 no not you, Everyone's... not you. Somebody else would play the part of you. No, the fact that animat would be in a porno, yeah. but you don't mention who, who would be. With me in the animat porno. Debbie, of course. <laughs> oh yeah, true. Uh, I buried her in the backyard. You dipshits! I buried her in the backyard. You forgot. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> really? Really? You got rid of yeah, Debbie, a running gang of the. Well, no wonder she was literally that. dirty. <laughs> I mentioned that in the Terminator, um, podcast. I said that I buried her in the backyard. Problem solved. That's not canon to the podcast. <laughs> I didn't say the commentary. I said the actual podcast. We were talking to Jada about it. Oh, God. You don't remember that? Oh, God. No. I don't remember. Oh, my God. I think it's already getting late. <laughs> yep. Yep. So, I will see. I'm so cutting a reel of this and sending to you guys. Three dreams of me naked in a porno. <laughs> um, now my face is all red shit. <laughs> You're thinking of that, aren't you? Shut up. Exactly. <laughs>